Hey, it's Ashley from ReloGeek.com and founder of Relo Academy, an auto transport broker training course designed to take your business from rookie to pro. And you're watching ReloGeek TV. I wanted to talk to you guys, answer a question that I got from one of our loyal followers. Um, and her question was, I've watched all your videos and I understand the role of the broker. I also went to Central Dispatch and watched a simulation video. However, Central Dispatch is accessible to drivers as well as shippers. What makes a driver utilize a broker instead of getting loads directly from the shipper? Are brokers necessary to the driver in order to negotiate a transaction? I don't understand because we are all looking at the same information, yet there's still a demand for brokers. Okay, Michelle writes that. And Michelle, that is an awesome question. So I wanted to answer your question on this week's episode. Now, a lot of you guys are confused by exactly what they mean by shipper versus brokers, okay? So, for one, Central Dispatch is the load board for brokers, carriers, and dealerships, okay? So, when we're talking about brokers, carriers, and dealerships, sometimes the word shipper or carrier or broker gets flung around. And the same thing when you're looking to become an auto transport broker, believe it or not, a lot of clients have asked me, how do I um, contact shippers? And they don't understand that freight brokering is totally different from auto transport brokering in the sense that the word shipper in freight brokering re re refers to, you know, corporations or big companies that are looking to move goods, Walmart, Target, um, those type of companies, Tyson Chicken, those are what they consider shippers. In our industry, our idea of shippers can be those type of people too. Dealerships can be considered a shipper. But really, our idea of shippers come from our clients. Now, in no way am I telling you that clients are actually on Central Dispatch. No, clients aren't on Central Dispatch. Like I said, it's only brokers, carriers, and dealerships. Now, your question is how can they coexist together? Well, brokers are there because ca carriers need brokers to find them loads, but not all carriers. Now, there are some carriers out there that do bring in their own private clients through marketing, through word of mouth, and these are the good carriers. Now, the mom and pop carriers that are just starting out are new to the industry, are new to the business, a lot of them don't have these websites up or they don't have the, you know, the reputation or the amount of trucks needed to cater to, um, you know, a client that might need their car shipped and you are in New York and the client is in California. So this is why brokers have become essential to our industry. So we basically become that connection for, you know, clients to find reliable carriers to move their vehicles. Now, what makes a driver utilize a broker? They need us. You know, like I said, they can't be in all places at once. Um, trying to be able to give clients what a client wants a car move from California to New York and they're in Texas, you know, things like that. So they use brokers so they can fill their trailer at the same moment that they're leaving that particular place and getting to where they need to be. So that's why brokers and carriers exist together. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that brokers hate carriers, carriers don't understand, bro carriers hate brokers, brokers don't understand carriers, all that stuff. And that's what I teach you in Real Academy, to understand the driver, to understand the carrier. So now you can forge great relationships and they'll respect you, you respect them. And in turn, you both will do a great job for your client. So Michelle, I hope that answered your question. I hope you can understand the term shipper. And for sake of our industry, there's the client, AKA the shipper, there's the broker and there's the carrier, and then there's dealerships. So if you guys have a question, don't be afraid to write in. Um, go to relogeek.com slash contact and submit your questions. Maybe you just might make it on the next episode of Relo Geek TV. So that's it for this episode. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to head on over to facebook.com slash relogeek and like the page if you want more tips on growing your business as well as while you're there, click the start here button and join the free training camp. And if you're ready to jump on in 
and start your business, but you want an all-in-one solution of understanding everything in one place, then I want you to head on over to reloacademy.com and enroll into Relo Academy. So that's it for this week. I'm Ashley from ReloGeek.com and I will see you next time. Bye.